Okay, we're back. Now that we've uh, finished with all that stuff, I guess. We, um, let's see. Oh, wait, uh. Whoops. Let's uh, put away the stuff we don't need. I lock it to make sure nothing will, like, disturb me in here. No, I put stuff in it. I might as well keep the darts, I guess. There, let's just put those in there, just in case. We've already got plenty of uh, candles in here. I do that just in case I mess up somehow. Oh, we don't need the luck stone anymore. Well, actually, we didn't need it in the first place, but we don't need it. Okay, um, I'm sorry for taking all this time with this. Okay, um, let's see, gain ability. Oh, it's not, uh, blessed. That's okay, we have plenty of, um, of, uh, potions of holy water. Okay, dip, gain to be quaff. There we go. Ah, and our intelligence went up. That's even nicer. Now, um, what we're gonna do is this. I want these to be blessed, so, um, dip P into B, drop P, pick it up, now it's stacked with V, dip that into the holy water. You might be wondering why I did that. Well, you see, these are smoky potions, you can tell because it's gray. Drinking a blessed, drinking a smoky potion has a very small chance of releasing a Tijin that may, um, grant you a wish. And they've got a highest chance of granting you the wish if they show up if it's blessed. But we didn't get any at all, so that was uh, completely pointless. Okay, lastly, um, put... Trying to gain energy there. Yay, my energy went up. Which actually I didn't really matter that much, I guess, but it was something. Now well, let's take off um, these and wear the shirt. Yeah, I know the robe is minus two. It was cursed when I got it, so it wasn't that great. But who cares? The benefits outweigh the problems. Wow, all those guys have, like, wandered out. Hmm. Okay, let's invoke this. The uh, eye. Go to the bottom of the Dungeons of Doom. That brings us here. Now it's time to head into the Valley of the Dead. Which we'll uh, do by I'm um, using the uh, the uh, those things. Oh, wow, a luck stone was right there. Huh, interesting. Guess I could have used that, although I didn't really need to. Let's put on the Ring of Slow Digestion. That protects you from purple worms. There we go, now it fell with me. Now let's, um, turn on our, uh, lantern. Had to do it a few times because it's cursed. Put all of our scrolls away. Now let's fight some stuff. The problem with the vampire lords is that they're drain resistant, so the, um, staff won't deal its, like, extra damage. On the other hand, the staff does protect you from their, their uh, experience draining attack. On the other hand, we probably didn't have to worry that much about that anyway. Ooh, Unicorn Horn. I wonder if this guy will pick it up. 
I'm just a bit curious. Come on. Man, will you even step on the thing? Hmm. Oh, he stopped using the helm and put on another one. Those guys can all wear those things. Huh. I guess he doesn't want the unicorn horn. Guess I'll save it for later polypiling. Actually, that uh, reminds me. Ah, oh, I can move quarterstaff up. I completely forget. I completely missed the fact that the like you feel you could be more dangerous or whatever the thing or more adept in your lesson skills. There we go. Now we are expert in quarterstaff. So we will be dealing more damage and hitting more. Let's get our Archon here to help us clear this out. By the way, here's a um, trick if you actually if you um, care about it. Um, come over here where there's a lot of race, let the race like surround you, then use the eye of the AFEO Pika to just go someplace else. What's this, I wonder? Oh wow, this was a plus one shirt all the time. Should have just been wearing it in the first place. Oops, don't want the box. Okay, unlock it. What the? What the friggin' heck is Jubilex doing here? Huh, maybe it was a chameleon. Jubilex is one of like these demon guys you um like you'll find on the way down here. Oh, by the way, once you're in Gehenna, as helpfully pointed out there, don't pray because a prayer goes to Moloch and that gets your deity mate angry at you. A giant ant egg. Pit. Cares. All of these corpses around here are like kind of old corpses, by the way, so don't eat them unless you want to be sick. Lord Seth's ghost. But I'm alive! Why are there ghosts of me? Maybe they're just some other random guy named Lord Seth. So anyway, in this um level, that, just below the castle, there's sort of um... It's all, it's pretty, oh, a bag of holding, nice. Is there anything in it? Nope, well, we don't need it then. There's, uh, let me show you. There's kind of three big groups of these sort of enemies there. There's a lot, with these in these graveyards, there's a lot of like, um, these things that might have some treasure in them, so check them out. Oh, and I was mentioning that thing earlier about race. I don't think I really explained it uh, that well. Let me, um, go into more detail. Undead monsters here have a, in these graveyard levels, have a really low chance of uh, leaving a corpse. So a good thing to do is to get them to an other level, and that way um, you will be able to kill them and they have a good chance of leaving a corpse. Unfortunately, um, the castle for uh, undead creatures counts as a graveyard level. So what you can do is just get the um, guys to surround you, and, uh, oh, it's Spellbook of Jumping, nice. And then again, use either a Cursed Scroll of Teleportation or the Orb of Fate, which gives you level port, or the Eye, and then you will, uh, just go to a pl another place that isn't a graveyard level, kill them, eat their corpses, gain levels. But I don't really care about gaining levels. I mean, I've got all the levels I need. See you next time!